Today we're going to demonstrate mechanical splicing with a Corning cam splicer. What we can do, what we're looking at here, is what you might find in a fiber trailer. Generally speaking, when we're doing high pair counts of fiber, we do it in a fiber trailer. If this were the fiber trailer and I was given this uh, particular distribution, tight buffer distribution cable, and I sat down to do my splicing, what would be the first thing I do? Anyone? I would think get organized. That's it. There's, I don't need, I never want to have my drinks on my splicing table. Do I need my keys for anything? No. Am I going to need a, a comb or a pen? No. No. Do I need two fiber trash cans? Yes. Yeah. No, I don't. No, just I don't need two fiber trash cans. It's just one more thing to get knocked over. Given this situation, the first thing you want to do is, like you said, organize. Do I have a splice tray where I'm going to put my splices? Do I have the snips so I can strip the distribution cable? Is that something I'm going to be doing over and over again, stripping the distribution cable? No, I'm going to do it once. I have my kit, my corning kit, which includes uh, jacket strippers. These are Miller strippers. These are the same. These, it's, the company is Miller that makes these. However, they make different grades of them. We have our tweezers for picking up loose pieces of fiber. We have our cleave for cleaving the fiber. We have our pen for marking the jacket, how far back we're going to mark the jacket. And we have our cleaning kit. The most important thing about splicing and terminating fiber is organization. And that you set yourself up to win. Setting yourself up for failure is very easy. Whether you're right or left handed, you begin by putting things where you need to work on them. Tape, electrical tape facilitates this quite well. There's natural um, memory in the cable itself. Now, th it, this one wants to bend down, right? So what you want to do is get it so it's it's bending into where you want it at. So maybe put this guy over here. One thing when you're managing the splice that you want to do, get this guy over in here somewhere. If you're using electrical tape, which is a good way of keeping track of fiber uh, shards, which is what, the most dangerous part of working with fiber, what you don't want to do is get the residue of the tape on the clean fiber. Now, this is our splice tool, our corning splice tool, our cleave, trash can. We want to keep our trash can out of the way. We don't want our cable bumping into it, which will which will inevitably, Murphy's Law, will happen. Okay? It'll, it will happen, I guarantee you. Our splices. And let's take a look at our splices real quick. Our splices are a mechanical splice. Thus, they have what inside? Kenny? Gel. Gel index matching gel. We don't need a precision cleave with a mechanical. 
we use a cricket leaf with a mechanical. The index jet matching gel on the inside will match the cores together. So when the light passes through, it'll pass from one core to the next through the index matching gel. The gel has the same index of refraction as the core of the fiber. These will unscrew like this. If you've unscrewed it, you've blown it. What you do is you pull off the dust cap, otherwise known as what, Rob? I just think of it as a dust cap. The dust collector. Oh, oh. Right? It's all dirty. You'll always be cleaning. Put that back there. Let's go ahead and load our corning tool. We have the corning to the left. So you, so you can read it, okay? Pointing to the left so you can read it. You open the tool. You inspect it for pieces of glass. You reclose the tool with the corning facing you into your tool until it stops. Mm -hmm. You good? Mm -hmm. You then take our cable, we cut off the outer jacket, right? Mm -hmm. Usually what I do is I start down here and because there's a chance of nicking the fiber, you pull off a little bit of jacket, this outer jacket, and we find the rip cord. See that little white thread right there? This is the aramid yarn, correct? And that's the strength member, and that's what we connect the pulling system to when we're pulling on it, right? We pull with this. We open the fiber with this, this little white string here. It's called the rip cord.